Hey everyone, welcome to Cooking Websites, where I show you my favorite web design tools that I use all the time as a web designer. And uh, this episode, I will show you the tools that I install on every site that I make. I build my sites on WordPress, so those are going to be plugins, all free. Some have paid versions, but the ones that I show you here are all free. And I think they're pretty crucial and some of them just make your life so much easier. Okay, sure they all are. Nine of them. I know it seems like a lot. Um, let's go through them. First one in my list is Advanced Editor Tools. This plugin makes editing text feel less like you're using a typewriter and more like an actual text editor with features. So uh, it just adds more features to the classic tiny MC editor. Let me show you the difference. I have deactivated the plugin and uh, let's open a page. So here is a text block. And as you can see, these are the default options. Not bad, but what if I want to change the font? Don't want to use any CSS. What I do is I activate advanced editor tools. I refresh the page and here's the difference. I can um, change the font. I can change the size of the text and it just opens up more options that you just need sometimes. Next one is duplicate page and it's in the name. You can duplicate a page. You might think you will not need it and maybe you won't. But it's so nice to have or at least know that it is an option. For example, sometimes if I want to test something in a design, but I don't want to affect the the page that is currently live, I duplicate the text and I don't have to create anything from scratch. And how this plugin shows itself is you go to pages and you, you can see duplicate this here for every page and then it will just duplicate it. Trust me, it is incredible. Next, we have FileBird. I don't know about you and how tidy you are, but uh, you know how sometimes people say, if you have a messy house, then you probably have a really uh, clean car. No? <laughs> That's what I've heard all the time. And I have a messy car, but I like to keep my media library very organized. So FileBird will allow you to make new folders and then obviously put the images in those folders. And imagine you had a uh, birthday campaign, uh, 2018, right? How are you going to find all the materials? Yes, you're going to search. It's going to take a while. But imagine you just have it right here in a beautiful folder again. Trust me, it will make your life easier. Next, we have Checkback, which is a powerhouse of a plugin. It's like having a Swiss Army knife, performance coach, and a bodyguard all in one. I have no doubt that in the future, it will also be able to take my dog out for a walk. But for now, it's just a plugin that takes care of your backups. It uh, searches for threats. It uh, boosts performance. It's a very, very nice plugin to have on. Next, we have Kraken Image Optimizer. It compresses your images without losing their quality. You might be asking, why is it even important? Um, and the answer is performance. To prove this to you, let me give you a little performance of my own where the lead actors are. Kraken, your big, heavy, and beautiful images, and Google PageSpeed Insights. I already did a little bit of a test, starting with the images. I have a page here with the beautiful parallax and big images. And um, how is it performing in PageSpeed Insights? Not the best. But then I downloaded and activated Kraken. Look what happened. 71. Still not perfect. You know, the parallax effect has a bit of an effect there, um, but that's a big job. And imagine that adding up with uh, 
your whole website, you're going to feel the difference. Well, rather your potential, the potential visitors will definitely feel a difference. Next, we have Lightspeed Cash, which I would say is optional. But if you can do this little bit to um, make sure that your site is fast and loads fast, we have to do it. And I like to think not only about the design, but also about the performance. Um, you know, there's this, uh, there's this old quote um, that said, most people leave the page if uh, it doesn't load in two seconds. Is that actually true? Forty-seven percent of users won't wait longer than two seconds. Must be true. All right. Next one is Safe SVG. You probably know this, but for some mystical reason unknown to me, um, WordPress does not allow to upload SVGs by default. Okay, actually, ChatGPT knew this is a security and complexity thing. Weird, but there's a plugin for that. Um, you just activate the plugin and use your SVGs as you would any other image. Um, um, I always use this for logos so that the logo would look nice on any screen size. Or imagine someone is making an article best design of the year. They want to take my logo, they copy and paste it. As always, I have a, have a little demonstration. So uh, this is a page, here's the logo. Doesn't look that bad, but now let me switch to an SVG. Wow. So crisp, so beautiful. And if I, now go, copy this one, let's make a, copy this one. Oh, not good. Now, copy this one. Wow, wow, so much better and, uh, now they can include the logo and I won't feel bad as a person who designed it. <laughs> All right, the next one is the SEO framework. There's no reason to create a website if no one is gonna see it or find it on search results. So SEO is obviously very important. And what I like about the SEO framework specifically is that if an SEO expert would come on to this project, I would not have messed anything up because it is beautifully simple has the very basics. And if, again, an expert comes on, they can build on it. Okay, where do you see the SEO framework? First of all, you can see a column here where you can see the some SEO metrics for every page. See kind of an overall score. Um, but if you go in, you click on edit for any of the pages. And here at the bottom, you will see the the module for the SEO framework. So what you can do here is choose how your page will look on search engines, um, starting with the title description, and then the same for socials. That's the very basics and the uh, very necessary. And last but not least is obviously WP Bakery page builder. Um, it is my best friend right after Figma and ChatGPT when it comes to creating websites um, because it is advanced enough so that I can add to WordPress anything that my mind comes up with and that I have designed on Figma. And uh, at the same time, it is easy enough so that the client, if necessary, can make any adjustments without me having to do everything and do maintenance for for the client all the time and also you can endlessly build on the built-in features by using custom code and uh, it's super easy and i love it you can always start from scratch or use any of the built-in templates um 
just to help you out to get started a little quicker if that's necessary. There are a lot of elements that you can use. You can add custom called easily. This parallax effect is actually on custom CSS right here that you can apply to your whole page and specific elements as well. Um, it's the most simple grid layout and, and truly, and truly it is capable of everything that my imagination can, can come up with uh, when it comes to building a website. And again, a theme can limit you sometimes. So WP Bakery allows you to create a page completely from scratch if that's necessary or build on your theme as well. And that's it for this episode, my friends. Uh, the links for all the plugins will be in the description below. So I'll see you hopefully all on the next one.